In this video, we will understand about ng form directive. From the earlier videos, we already know the importance of name field template reference variable that we have included in the name input text element. The template reference variable helps to link the input text element with the ng model directive based on which we were able to implement validations on the input text element. Similarly, the form tag can be linked with ng form directive using a template reference variable which helps to handle validations at the form level. In the form tag, I am including a template reference variable named hash signup form having value as ng form. From the Angular documentation, we can see ng form class defined as directive. Notice that this class comes from at angular slash forms folder and it belongs to forms module. If I scroll down further after the properties definition, we can see the template variable identifier name defined as ng form and we can also see the syntax to define the template reference variable. Notice that I am using the same syntax in the form tag of app.component.html. If I scroll up in the documentation, we can see ng form also contains properties similar to ng model. We can see valid, invalid, pristine, dirty, touched and untouched. If I scroll up to the top of the properties, we can see a property named submitted. These are the properties that we are going to use to implement validation on submission. Let me demonstrate how these properties work. In app.component.html, below the submit button, we have already included display of a set of properties from the name field. Now I'm going to change this name field to the newly defined template reference variable signup form. I am copying the signup form template reference variable from the form tag and I'm going to paste it in each one of the interpolation where name field properties are displayed. We are not going to use the errors object from the signup form. I will replace this with submitted property. I am changing the label from errors to submitted. Then changing the errors property as submitted. Then changing the open and close pre tag to div tag. We will see how these properties work on the page. I am saving the file. After the page reload, notice that touched is false and untouched is true. If I click within the name input text element and click outside the text element, we can see touched changed as true and untouched changed as false. Currently dirty is false and pristine is true. If I type a character in the name input text element, we can see dirty changed to true and pristine changed to false. Now valid is false and invalid is true. Let me type a valid name. We can see valid changed to true and invalid changed to false. From the demonstration, we can learn that the ng form object reflects the status of the form elements. If any one of the form element is touched, then the ng form object property also changes to touched. If any one of the form element is dirty, then the ng form object property also changes to dirty. If any one of the form element is invalid, then the ng form object property also changes to invalid. Hope this explanation helps to understand how individual form element state gets reflected at the form level. Now we will look into the behavior of submitted property. Currently submitted property is false as we have not yet clicked on the submit button. Let me click on the sign up submit button. After clicking the button, we can see submitted changed to true. Hope this demonstration helps to understand how ng form object properties work. Let me summarize the changes to be done. In app.component.html, include the signup form template reference variable in the form tag. In the interpolations that currently display the name field properties, 
change it to display the sign up form properties change errors to display submitted property after these changes save and check whatever demonstrated in this video based on the new properties we have learnt in this video we will start implementing validation on form submission from the next video onwards